the amazing feats you will witness here tonight will be performed by trained professionals. The improper presentation of many of these effects could result in serious injury or even death. Do not, I repeat, do not attempt any of these amazing feats yourself. Please welcome the internationally renowned Zamora, the Torture King. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. This is the same type of show which used to happen before a circus not very long ago. It used to be the circus was the number one form of entertainment in North America. And every circus had a sideshow where you'd see things just like you're going to see on the stage tonight. So considered quite mainstream entertainment at one time, but at the same time, things which happen up here are shocking. Things which happen up here are not to the squeamish or the faint of heart. In fact, some things which happen on this stage have been known to make people faint. You have been warned. It is all done in the name of fun and entertainment. It gets more extreme, more bizarre as it goes on. By the very end, you'll see me do the thing I did on the Guinness World Records TV show. It got me the title of the torture game, but the cameraman fainted. You might have also seen me do this exact same thing on another TV show called Stanley's Superhumans, which is on the History Channel very recently. I'm going to start with something gentle, well, gentle in comparison. A research side show had a fire eater. You might have seen a fire eater before. I do it just a little bit different. First, to see how hot the flame is. It is hot. Set my mouth on fire, becoming a mini Olympic torch, transferring the flame from one to the other. Viking Beauty, that was her. She had her curves concealed under that robe at this point. 
Because if he didn't, he wouldn't be paying attention to the fire. <laughs> well, I can't think of a better reason to conceal something than to reveal it. So please welcome to center stage, curvaceous Kitty Carla, Viking Beauty, on the great. Turn to cucumber, sliced and diced. Chopped up with those machete blades. Folks, this is not the type of ladder you'd like to walk up under any conditions, and certainly not barefoot, but this is just exactly what Miss Carloff intends to do. Removing her shoes and peeling off her stockings. in South America, a person accused of a crime would be forced to walk barefoot up such a ladder. If they were guilty, their feet would be kept to ribbons, but innocent, if they were innocent, they could do this without harm. She will attempt to replicate this. Each step she takes, small, full body weight press on a small pit of the razor sharp blades. I don't imagine what it must feel like as she moves her weight off the floor, onto the blades. Each step she takes more dangerous than the one that precedes it. the top. And as that may be. Let's it down from where she is. Down her journey. That was much more skewed. She can slip fall into those blades. Second her body. Almost to the ground. And she's made it. Take a look at the bottom. That's the bottom of her feet. We can see where those blades pushed in. Hopefully. We'll now slice it through. Give it up. In the show, doing more feats of daring do. And folks, this is part of the show where I need the assistance of somebody from the audience. Somebody too close. Somebody unwilling. Somebody really good at avoiding eye contact. Somebody, somebody really good at pointing at other people. really good at pointing at other people. Come on up. Big round of applause. <laughs> Make your way on stage. Thank you for joining me here on stage. Now, there's one simple rule for being up here is that you're able to follow simple directions. Directions I give you as you stand right here. And face forward. No matter what happens. Keep looking directly straight ahead. Directly straight forward at all times. I'll be right back. <laughs> Doing good so far. Watch out. Don't do it. <laughs> Grab onto that cabbage and lift it, lift it off 
the nails. Up it comes, the at this. Let me, well, let me hear the truck. Hold on. Sit back. just the cabbage. You'll probably sink in just a little bit deeper than the cabbage did. <laughs> now trust me, the human body has got something called endorphins. After a few minutes of really intense pain, it'll kick in and you won't feel it after that. You're just going to pass out right away. And you won't feel it until tomorrow. As you kind of tense up and relax at the same time, you've got a half of that down. So are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Watch out, you're the same. Actually, see that camera way back there? You're on MTV, you've been punched. <laughs> I'm that Aspen Crunchy guy, they set you up. No, we're not going to put you on the nails, give them a big round of applause for me. If it gets bored, we're going to send you back to your seat. Here's this, step off the stage. We just brought her up here to show you how sharp the nails are. Can't get people from the audience laying on the nails, but I do need some more people from out there to help out up here. We need some guys, some big, tough guys. Now, Kitty Carla, she's out there in the audience. She's going to pick up, I mean, pick out a few guys. When she calls up on you, join me on stage. We're going to line up behind. Over here. Folks, when she calls up on you, come on up. Step on up on the stage. Line up behind me here. Difficult to say no to. Folks, there she is, out in the audience when she calls the bunny. Please join me on stage. Stairs on either side. Now line up as quick as you can. On the stage itself. We have the side of the stage on the runway. This is the way up onto the stage.
form of a concrete building block.
closer look. Some of you might want a close up photograph if you got a camera. Turn it on right now. You want a close up look? Get out of your seat. Right now, wherever you are, come down to the front. Right now, you can start over here. On the right hand side, work my way to the middle on the left. Come on up. 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 Please give a round of applause to my assistant and my co-performer, Jermaine Kitty Carla.